Okay, I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching our video with OB Enterprise. Today we're going to talk about overcoming and defeating the side check pin on a Schlage full-size removable core cylinder. We have three different cylinders here today. We have a standard conventional, we have an Everest, we also have a Primus cylinder. We're going to go ahead and go through all three of these so you can see relatively how easy it is just taking a little bit of time and just teaching yourself. If you have a cylinder that's out, it'll help you in training. If you don't, it may just take a little bit more for you to get the finesse to be able to actually remove the cylinder out of a mortise or a rim cylinder, which we also sell a tool for. Please check out our other videos. One thing you're going to want to do is if you have a control key, it will make things just a little bit easier. If you do not have a control key, the best thing to do is take a standard hook pick measure back an inch and a quarter, or, I'm sorry, an inch and an eighth, and just put a piece of tape around it to give you a guide on how far back in the cylinder you're going to need to go to get to the pin in the back to lift up to be able to draw the uh, pin in that actually holds the cylinder in the lock housings. Okay? With this, we're going to turn this around here. And I want you to be able to take a look at where the actual check pin is. It is the very last pin in the back of the housing. And that's what we end up having to lift up. Now it does have a little, little bit of a cross check where you just can't push the pin in automatically because you lift this. It's designed that you were supposed to have a working key where then it lifts the check and the cylinder rotates. Well there is an ability to be able to override that to be able to push the pin in. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to move back around here to the front. If you have an already existing control key, here's your little check pin on the side. If you actually insert the, the, the control key in all the way and just add a little bit of pressure to it as you're backing the, the, the key out and then work it back and forth a little bit, you can see the check pin pushes in all the way. At this point, you could use a, any type of pick or something or turn, take the lock and bump it and the cylinder would fall right out. Okay. Again, with a control key, pushed in all the way. Just apply a little bit of pressure to the side as you're pulling the, the key out. Gently and slowly, you can see it overrides it and the pin pushes in. Okay, we're going to move over to the Everest cylinder now. Take this out. Slide in our Everest cylinder. With the Everest cylinder, what we're going to do is we're going to use a pick. We're going to be like we don't have a key for this. We're going to do the exact same thing as if you had a key. We're going to put just a little bit of pressure in. You're going to take your pick, push it all the way back in the back, and lift that check pin up in the far back. You can feel it rock this pin in the back here. As you move and rock that pin back and forth, you'll feel it drop in just a little bit. And just by using manipulating just back and forth some, there it goes. You can see the pin went in all the way now. Let it out, and as you can see, it will not go all the way back until you actually start to manipulate that check pin in the back. I usually find if you lift it up, you can feel the pin move in just a little slight bit. Let go of the pin and move it back and forth a few times. As you can see, it goes in all the way. Okay. The next thing we're going to demo is a Primus. Again, the Primus cylinder is the exact same. Everything inside these is the exact same way. I'm going to lock this back in the vise again. And this is a high security cylinder. Again, we're measured back an inch and an eighth with the tape. Gives us the guidance where to go to. I'm going to reach right back up in here. Slightly depress on the, on the pin. And we're going to rock it up there just a little bit. And as you can see, the pin is now perfectly flush all the way in. If you go to one of our other videos about our tool that we sell, this video will help explain the proper use for the tool we sell to remove these cylinders out of a mortise or a rim cylinder housings. And as you know, if you have a complete, if it's a conventional or a primus cylinders in these housings, it's virtually a cost of anywhere from $60 to $100 in costs. With our tool and a little bit of tight take your time, a little bit of training, you'll be able to pull these cylinders out in a matter of minutes. Thank you again for coming by and watching our videos at OB Enterprise.